In this video, we're going to talk about now how you can actually add textures to your terrain and also different types of tree prefab elements. Before beginning though, you're going to need several items before you can go ahead and get started. Number one is you are going to want to have sets of terrain materials that you can work with whenever you're laying out your design. For this project, I went to polyhaven.com where you can find a lot of great free to use public assets that you can use in your project. So I went under the textures and I picked out some textures that I liked. Now, once you've done that, remember you have to import the texture files into your project so that Unity will recognize them, which is what I've done here. You can see that I have three different folders for the three different materials that I'd like to use. Another thing that you will have to do is if you wanna be painting prefabs onto your terrain, you're going to need some sort of set of 3D models. For this example, I used free trees from Death Artisan or Darth Artisan and just gives me a bunch of a couple of pre-made trees here just to demonstrate with. Again though, you can use whatever you'd like in this situation. So you have your terrain how you would like it and now you're ready to start the second step which is actually making it look more like a terrain. Once again you want to come under where it says paint terrain. Now we're not concerned about actually editing the terrain anymore we're actually worried about painting textures. So I'm going to go ahead and select paint textures and you're going to see there's some settings already preset here but under terrain layers this is how we work with textures so that we get that blend and we can have numerous textures applied simultaneously. If you've ever worked with Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator or any software package where you worked with layers, this is the same concept here. So when I go to edit the terrain layers, the first layer that I, the first texture that I make is going to be my base layer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose edit terrain layers and I'm going to create a layer. Now notice because I already have all of my textures pulled in here into my terrain, you can see that I get to pick and choose. So I'll go ahead here and I'll start off with forest leave. Double click and a couple of things have now happened. First off, if you notice down in my project here in my assets folder, it made a layer file for me. But also too, you should now see it applied all on your terrain. And then thirdly, over in terrain layers now, we can now see the layer popping up. If I actually click on this here, I can do several items with it, including, as you can see here, I could add things like a normal map and I can also change the scaling size. So for instance, maybe if I do five by five and stretch it out a little bit. Likewise too, I can come under here and I can choose a normal map. So if I go to forest leave, now I can assign that and include that in the project. Just as a note, if you're working with a normal map that you download from Polyhaven, one thing you might run into is Unity will actually pull it in as a standard texture and it'll give you an error under the normal map. If it does this, you're going to need to navigate and locate that normal map and then you're going to need to change the texture type from default down to normal map. When you do that and you then navigate away, it will actually ask you, do you want to save? You'll want to tell it yes. You can also come in and rename your layers. So I could actually call this grass area. And now I'm going to go ahead and make one more terrain layer. Now the second layer that I'm going to make though is going to be a little bit different from the standpoint that it's not going to apply immediately. If you notice now, as far as my scene goes, it hasn't been applied, but I can come in, I can do the same as before. I'm gonna locate that normal, and then I'm also gonna change my texture a little bit, as far as five by five. And now you can actually, a couple of things to point out, and I'm gonna come over to my hillside here and work here. First off, if you notice, there's a blue outline box that happens over in the terrain layers on the right hand side. This is showing you which of the current layers is active. Once you have that set up, 
can actually minimize this and you're going to be relying on these brushes again. So here you can see if I come in and I'm going to go ahead and change the size a little bit, maybe take it up to 34, and I start clicking on the side of my mountain here, you see how it's actually changing over that terrain for me. Now maybe I don't want this super hard edge down at the bottom here, so now I can come back in, maybe tweak my brush a little bit, and I'll come back in and click on grass area and kind of do a little bit of fading there as far as making it not as not as much as a hard edge going across there. And you can continue to do this. You can have as many different terrain layers as you like. So all you'd have to do is keep adding new terrain layers and then clicking between them and using your brushes, you can begin to paint and lay out and create things such as paths, mountains, and different areas to your overall terrain for your player to interact with.